So last week, Webflow released AppGen, and I made a video giving it my first look. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. But the reason I'm so excited about AppGen is because of the fact that you can build things in Webflow, bring them into your app, and then continue to fine tune things in Webflow. So the thing with vibe coding is while you can make some super beautiful UIs, I have a video on how I usually do that with Shad CN. Those are things that I'm building to look good in my opinion. If you have an actual client who wants you to build them a web app, they might have a Figma file with very specific designs. And well, it's kind of hard to build that out when vibe coding. So the whole promise of app gen is very, very exciting to me. So what I want to do in this video is build out some UI and Webflow, try to bring that into my app gen app and see how that entire flow works with DevLink. Now, I'm very excited for this, but I just want to say to make sure your expectations are right, keep in mind AppGen was just released into beta. It may have some issues, totally understand that. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and try it out. The first thing I'm going to do is just build out my Webflow UI, and then we're going to see what happens next. All right, so now I have gone ahead and I have made this uh, sidebar right here, and it's not a component yet. I literally just built the Webflow UI, but I'm really interested to see if we can bring this in. So first things first, what we need to do is actually turn this into a component. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I have my sidebar selected. We will click Create Component, and let's go ahead and just name it Sidebar. Just like that. So now it is a component. That being said, if this was to be brought into our app gen project, then it's going to look all the same. Logo is going to be logo, link one, link one, link one, link one. We have to actually make component props in order to have this be customizable inside of app gen. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. What I want to do is make it so that the icon, the text, and the actual link can be set in that component. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up now. All right, so I've set up component props for all of the links along with the text that goes in them. I didn't do it for the icons. Actually, these are embedded icons and I couldn't quite figure out right off the bat. I am a chronic underuser of components. That is something I need to fix in order to become effective at AppGen. If you are already someone who uses components properly and often, things are gonna be a lot easier for you. But anyways, I have this and really my goal is just to find out, can we bring this into the AppGen project? Is it gonna look the same? Can I then go back into Webflow, make changes to it, and it's gonna update the AppGen app? How does all of that work? So now we have our sidebar component, we have all of these links, and I think the next thing to do is to pop open AppGen and let it know what we wanna build. I'm just gonna say, make me a dashboard template, use my sidebar component and my site variables, and we'll see what it does with that. All right, so it is indeed using my sidebar component, that is awesome, and it is using my site variables, although not in the best way. I mean, this is pretty ugly. Uh, immediate problem here with the sidebar is it's super skinny. And also it's not like there needs to be a container set to 100 viewport width with the sidebar being full width. Like right now it is just absolutely massive. So I'm gonna have to ask it to go ahead and fix that and we'll see what we get. All right, so I had to wrestle with it for a little bit in order to actually get it to be the right height. But I mean, hey, what we're looking at right now is, I mean, a dashboard. This was just generated by AI, it's totally fine. This is just a placeholder. What we're looking at here is the sidebar. What is the workflow for building something pixel perfect in Webflow, then bringing it into our web app made with AppGen? And uh, it brought it in, it works. And now something interesting is it didn't use any of these props that I created. It shows link one, link one, link one, link one, link one. So I wanna see how good it is at using those props. I'm just gonna say like, can you change the links on my sidebar to represent what the real app would look like? So instead of link one, have like home, stats, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna see if I have to fight with it or if it's just gonna do it on its own. All right, look at that. So one prompt and it managed to update the links. Now you could just go ahead and go into code and change this yourself. Let's say we change this from like dashboard to home, home. And then I assume to save it, you would do command S like with most things. So anyways, then if I go back into preview, as we can see, 
I spelled home wrong, so it's... Nope, I did not spell home wrong. I guess it just needs to refresh. But anyways, point is, it can indeed do that. So it can use your component props properly to do whatever it is that you wanted it to do. So that is super, super exciting. Now, there's two more things that I want to try. One is I want to change the way this looks in the designer, and then I want to come back. So do like a little role play. Let's say the client goes, hey, I want these lo links to look different. Can you change those? Let's see how easy it is to do so in the designer and then what happens when we go back into app gen. And then after that, I have one little bonus that I want to add to this video and that is code components. So we have these charts here. Let's say I made these with app gen and I'm like, oh, I like these. I actually want to bring them into my marketing site as well. I'm going to do that. So anyways, first let's go ahead and change the way that these links actually look. And then we're going to go and see how it looks in app gen. All right, so I have updated my sidebar component here in the designer, and now I'm just gonna click on app gen. And uh, something that the app gen AI said to me kind of led me to believe that this just happens automatically. You don't actually need to you know, say anything. You don't need to resync the components. That would be super cool. So if that's the case, then I'm gonna be pretty happy. All right, so indeed my sidebar has been updated. All I needed to do was go into Webflow and then come back and it was all done for me. So that is super exciting. It still says home instead of home. I don't really quite understand why, like what can I do if I go here and I just, well, let's try that, not saving it and then go back into preview and see if it's updated. Maybe it just auto saves. Yeah, okay, so it just auto saves. Whatever I was doing there with command S clearly does absolutely nothing. So the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna ask it to make a code component. Let's do from this revenue overview um, card chart, whatever you wanna call this. I wanna have it turn this into a code component that I can bring back into my marketing site. So if this is successful, then really this is the full circle moment for me when it comes to Webflow app gen. I can make stuff in Webflow, I can bring it into my AI generated app. I can make stuff into my AI generated app and I can bring it into Webflow. Again, app gen, look, it's got, it's got some shortcomings at this point in time. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's perfect. It's brand new. It's in beta. I can't hook up an MCP as far as I'm aware. I can't upload pictures into the chat, which is something I do constantly with Claude code. But like I said, this is in beta. And if Webflow just keeps at this, the potential of this ecosystem is insane. So anyways, before I get too excited, let's go ahead and ask it to create a code component for the revenue overview card with the chart in it. All right, so it says it created it. I don't know if it synced it. I don't know if it did anything, but it just told me that it is done. It's created, it's ready to be used as a Webflow code component. I'm assuming it's not gonna be like already able to be synced up. Uh, Webflow React dashboard, no. Okay, so I'm gonna ask it now if it can like sync it so that I can actually use it in my project. Now, usually there's like an authentication flow and approving. I wonder if Webflow's got that all built in or what the deal is. So anyways, I'm gonna have to ask the AI to bring it in or at least explain to me what I'm supposed to do because clearly that part at least did not happen automatically. Webflow team, it would be very cool if it did. All right, so honestly, it kind of ran me around in circles a little bit. Uh, as you can see over here, I'm like, hey, is it, you know, can I use this as a code component in Webflow? No, it can't. So it's not actually setting this up. It's not actually going through the entire flow. I'm not sure if that's intentional by Webflow or if that is an oversight. Um, but it did create the code component and it did make the demo. So it seems like the only thing it's missing is kind of that ability to bring and sync it into Webflow, which would be super awesome. Anyways, so at the end of the day, my take on this entire thing, everything that we've done in this video is this is super exciting. I mean, you, if you're building stuff for clients, you can start to bring web apps into your offerings and be confident that you're not just playing around with something like, again, let's say Claude Code or Cursor, which are amazing, but you don't really know how to use them. Like when you're using AppGen, you have the control in that sense. You have the ability to build components pixel for pixel in Webflow, which is a tool that you, you know, know very, very well, and then bring them into your app. So when the client says, hey, add this one little animation into this component, you know you can do that. Unlike if you're using something like Claude Code or Cursor. So this is super, super, super exciting. Again, there are little oversights like this, right? It's in beta, it needs a little bit of work, but uh, I'm super excited. I would say this passed my test 
failed that little last bit, but uh, I'm super excited about this. Let me know if you've got a chance to use AppGen in the comments. I'm gonna be making a whole bunch more videos on it soon and I'm excited to see you grow. So anyways, have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.